five shoes from the reimagined series have released so far and there's been a lot of been a conversation about which shoe's the best how would you rank it and i've been having these conversations i was like these are og colorways right brought back to life in a different twist right so no better way to do it than having an og on the channel. there you go okay we're gonna go in order from the first release mm -hmm. to the final release which is the fours that are coming out like next couple weeks from now or something okay we're gonna rank them all after that and we'll kind of break down the packaging and all this different stuff and evaluate that the market value the resale price the retail price the impact on the culture the different things okay okay right. so let's start with the first shoe all right so first up right here you can see the box now I typically get excited. it's like a matte finish right all right these are the reimagined patent bred air jordan ones and before i open this box I have to preface real quick. Jordan Brand started an initiative called the Remastered Series. Mm -hmm. So what they did was they said, hey, we're getting too far away. We need to get back on track. Let's remaster it. Let's get these OGs back in order. So they dropped okay. the white cement fours and they said, this is gonna be where things are moving forward. We're gonna give you a better cut, better materials and get back on track of being right. the brand that we are. So they had that and then it kind of like started switching again people were like what's going on and then now we have this so right. we're like everybody's starting to wonder like is this what's gonna come for other models and everybody says the white the uh black metallic fives with the silver mm -hmm. they say that's gonna be the next reimagined shoe for next year that's what everybody's guessing and hoping for right saying that we got the ones and the threes and so different stuff so that's just kind of like laying the foundation for you on where we're at today okay okay so this one released uh the end of 2021 Retail was 180 bucks. This was the beginning of the new price change on the Air Jordan 1s. Mm -hmm. 170 went to 180, okay? A couple years ago, a few years ago now. Right. So, shiny box, OG vibes, instead right. of the matte finish. I like the shiny box. Now, it doesn't say reimagine on the label, mm -hmm. but it's just kind of like sneaker heads. We kind of no. like got that yeah. thing, right? So, Air Jordan 1 high OG, black and red. Feeling like the paper, white paper, and then we got the shoe. Oh, we oh, got, we this, got shoe. this shoe. <laughs> All right. So these have additional laces in here. I had laced them up before and then yeah. I, I didn't uh, actually put any laces back in here because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. Low key, I was thinking about some white laces too. So uh, right here, what do you think about this shoe overall? I think I'll give you like what the people are thinking and you tell me what you think. All right. I'm going to say this. These shoes are so fire. They came out, they did good with the shiny box, the shiny shoe, everything about it. I love the patent leather. I mean, the cut, everything, everything about the shoe they did not miss. Okay. For me. So what would you rate this shoe out of 10? This and remember, have... remember we're, we're rating all these shoes too, so. Well, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna give it a nine, just in case one shoe is better than this. Okay. But I wanna give it a 10. Okay, so a nine. A strong nine a right strong now. strong nine. Maybe we'll switch it up later. Cause we gotta rank the shoes too. Yeah, yeah. But right it's a now, hot start, you would say. I don't know what all the shoes are, so I can't, yeah, this is. Okay. You came out with heat so, right here. So, let me just also give you a little bit of more context. You have a red metallic metal jump man right here. Yeah. Matching the patent leather vibes. Yeah. So in the early 2000s, we had the Chicago's, the UNC's, and the black and gold Air Jordan 1 mid. They came with the shiny, also the, uh, I think the Co-Japan, collab also had these on the side of them there's some other ones with this but either way there was a silver metal jump man people was wearing this as a hang tag oh yeah yeah, yeah necklace yeah. i had that put it on my keys yeah, i had it on my keys chain. you remember back in yeah, the day yeah. right so this also brings back nostalgia from that and right. reminiscing on that time but it had like a jewel on the wings logo instead and either way dope. they took the bread uh yeah. one leather version mm -hmm. and then they brought it to this version here in a patent leather version give it a new twist a new vibe so this one is solid super solid uh let me check the i don't market. know it's hard to miss let right check, here let me check the market the colorway everything is just... so we're gonna go market based off of my size being a 13. right now these go for around 300 bucks oh that's love so 180 i was thinking more than that later. i was thinking more than that honestly so these could potentially go up, you think? Yeah. In time? Yeah. Okay, so we'll see what happens. So first one, solid ranking. We're off to solid. a high start. We got okay. a full nine right there. Okay, all right, solid nine right there. Next up, this shoe released and they saw the bread and they're like, yo, the Chicago's coming. Mm -hmm. This is crazy. So they brought it back, reimagined. This is like, 
the lid is different. Yeah. And it was like storytelling aspect. Like we're gonna make it look old and rough and beat up and like it was like in the back of a old sales store that was on sale, you know, like mm -hmm. some Been old sitting retailer. Around for a minute. They found it in the back room and it's like got the old price tag on there. So they put like the sales sticker. Well it's oh, like yeah. yeah, they put the sales sticker right here and it says like $84.99 or $64.99 or whatever, like and the different stuff like that. So the element is dope. The storytelling, the reimagine, where people are starting to see the vision through, yeah. a little bit more. So on this, it says the same thing. Air Jordan 1, Retro High, Varsity Red, Black Cell, Muslin. So retail on these, 180 bucks. Right. Uh, now, same thing. They brought the storytelling aspect. This is better than the other. The packaging here is better. Okay. The other one, but okay. I like the box. I don't know. I like that shiny, shiny box, box right now. So you mix the shiny box with this, and you're like, yeah, yeah. yeah they win right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So the newspaper vibe, right? Yeah, and then you clean. see the details as seen on TV. They got yeah. the shoe on sale, leather upper, different colorways, OGs. They got the, you know, the the jump, the flight yeah, they, suit. Yeah, they did all that. The jump man, you know what I'm saying? The, yeah. the photo from back in the day. So you see how they tell that story a little bit mm -hmm. better uh, with this shoe in that aspect right. and then we got the shoe oh got we the got shoe. the shoe okay so actually we'll take both out so for this one they had it like laced up kind of like the og style right. they just put the front lace in there and they had the two different color options here so you got a, a black and a white lace so what do you think about the shoe just off of initial first look I love the shoe, but remember, I don't like the old like the distressed vibe, leather. The distressed leather. Okay. But all this right here, clean. The red. The the material's good. Everything like that. Okay. It's good. I just don't like that distressed look right mm -hmm. there. So it's okay on the white leather though, not the black. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's better on just the white. Just because it kind of blends in more. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Instead of the so they came correct with the materials. Mm -hmm. Overall, it oh, feels sure. really good. It's soft, it feels it feels nice. nice. Mm -hmm. It's got a good, even on the texture there, it's got a good flake to it. You know, it's got, I like how yeah. they brought the Wings logo on this one, stamped kind of more like the 85 cut ones Deeper that we're seeing. Yeah. yeah, so they switched that up as well. And uh, yeah. I think they told, oh, there's like a receipt thing in here too. I forgot, it's somewhere in here. Um, yeah. Here it is. Okay, so see like the sales receipt? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sandy Bro Sports. So, you see what I'm saying? It's got like the whole thing 86, paid that much, everything. Yeah. Final sale. So, I like how they brought yeah. all this in. And it was, it's like you, you brought it back from the past, but then everybody wondered, like, if you did that, then why didn't you give us the 85 cut compared to the new modern day retro cut? Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So, it's so like, they kind of missed it, it's right? Like, there. ah. But then you got to remember, Jordan 1 anniversary is coming up next year. So, what's that mean? They might do it too. 85 ones. We oh, got a yeah, lot of yeah, different yeah. stuff. Some big stuff happening next year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm like, are we going to see another version? Who knows? Definitely. You see what I'm saying? Uh, definitely. So, it was the anniversary. And then year. this was, remember, this was in last year, not this year. So, like, you got to think it's been some years removed between the right. release to then. So that gives them enough time to spread out the thing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So, a lot of different. Uh, elements to the shoe the packaging the storytelling this is considered to be one of the greatest colorways and models of all time when it comes to jordans right. so how do you feel about these what do you rate these because of the distress on the black mm -hmm. and i know i gotta look at some other shoes i'm gonna say a seven seven okay we'll say a seven right now okay okay right we'll, now we'll rate them too so you know yeah you get your time to yeah. you know Bring that, bring those ideas back I mean, around it's, the corner. It's closer to an eight, but I'm gonna say a seven right now. Okay. Cause I don't know what all I'm looking at. Yeah. Now this I next one. I gotta have room for error. This next one, let me switch the lens so the camera can see it right. So this next one right here, you see the vibes. They stayed they the, consistent yep, with yep, that. Yep. We imagined Air Jordan 3 this time. So they switched up the box, mm -hmm. but they gave that distressed look on the outside. Got the elephant print, cement print. You got the and the elephant Nike print branding. was one of the be my favorite boxes. Yeah, tag same thing. Summit white, fire red, black, Air Jordan three. Retail I want to say was two hundred or two ten. I don't remember, but that was the retail. Yeah. So now this shoe. Let me give you some context before we open it up, because there's context <laughs> to all these shoes. The shoe was coming out, and there was 
a lot of people hyped up about it, but then they kept seeing like issues, quality control, this, that, the other, glue stains, there's this paint messed up, my pair's messed up, the elephant print is wrong, all these different issues. Right. But then there was a vast majority of people, see that's the thing, like you'll see on the internet, oh, I saw this pair was messed up. Yeah, because the one person saw it, it went viral, and now everybody, everybody thinks yeah. all the pairs are messed yeah, up. Yeah. But then it's like, once you get yours in hand, you're like, yeah, these are fire. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it caused like I this. I think I know this shoe right here. Go ahead. Chaos, right? Yeah. And then also, you didn't like these. That's what I'm saying. I'm thinking I'm knowing this shoe you right here. You didn't like these when they first, when I showed you them. And then I showed you them in person. Yeah, because I seen them on a picture. And you was like, hold up. And now yeah, we got the shoe. And when, oh, he, oh, in he hand, got the shoe. <laughs> in hand. Oh, yeah. This mug, they did good on this shoe. Okay, so my one gripe was, I want retro cards, I want retro cards, I want retro cards. I would love to see retro cards. Mm -hmm. I want more retro cards. Yeah. That was the only thing I wanted. But besides that, I love them. I said, when I first saw the shoe in hand, sneaker of the year, top shoe. I can't say if it's the best or not, but either way, I can say it will definitely be one of the top shoes. Yeah. And what happened? We did our ranking and it fell at the top of the list. Yeah. So, White cement three. It's a clean shoe. Like I said, at first when I seen a picture, I was like, nah, I think they kind of blew it. Yeah. And then when I got it in hand and I seen it and I felt it, I go, oh no, they did good. They did good. It's just so hard because like sneaker enthusiasts, the people that are deep in the game, right? Like mm -hmm. they care about the cuts, the shapes, the materials, yeah, yeah, yeah. the everything, right? And the people that are working the job, they want to do the best to create that product and recreate it as the OG. Right. So like, for me, I was like, this is one of the best iterations that we have seen out of all the retros yeah. of the threes over the years. No, and I think they just knocked it out of the park. And what I am requesting now is a black cement three because they ruined the last one. It looked like a Black Cement 3 SB compressed down, pushed and ran over, and they threw a Nike Air tab on it. Like, like this is gonna sell. Yeah, no, right I'm now. like, this is great. No, but the crazy thing is, it's still sold out, and it's like a $600 shoe. Really? Yes, and I'm like, if they made it like this, and they recreated it? Right, oh then my they'd gosh. be on point. It would just be... Yeah. 10 times better than it? Because I like the Bikesmen more than I like the White Smiths. Right. But that would be crazy. So I'm I'm praying that they recreate the shoe the exact same way in the Black Smith version. Y'all listen over here, Nike. They will, they Nike will sell out. Brand. They will have no issues. It would be a great release. But again, that's a whole nother thing. So what do you rate these out of 10? I'm going to give them an 8.9 right now. 8.9. One point below <laughs> the Manhattan brands, but higher. Chicago. <laughs> now I almost want to just give it a full nine, but uh, it's close. Out of all the reimagined so far, actually I take that back because I've been rocking the Lost and Found. Let's get a full shit. nine, man. I've been rocking these a lot. They get a full nine. Okay, so a nine. They get a full nine. We'll do the right ranking. There. We'll do the ranking at the end. They get a full nine right there because I don't know what I'm gonna see. I can't give everything a ten because I don't know. I'm gonna say it. We're gonna save the rankings. After this, I don't want to hear your ranking for this one or the next one. Okay. Gotta, we'll let the people see. So, <laughs> boom. Now, they switch it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Still, it's usually matte, like finished throughout the whole box. They added that metallic on the blue area only. Remember the other one was shiny throughout the whole thing? Right. They did it just on the blue area on this box. So, reimagine royal version this time. Mm -hmm. Instead of breads, another OG colorway. Size tag, Air Jordan 1 High Retro OG, black, royal, blue, white. Retail, 180 bucks, I think. Um, these came out earlier, well, we're in 2024 now, so they came out in 2023. Um, I think, great shoe, but still just not one of my favorites. Right. Let's see what this shoe I'll is. let you uh, unwrap these, because it's gonna take a minute. Oh, 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 I seen this he shoe already knows what it is. <laughs> I can't tell because I don't know all the boxes. You know all that stuff. This right here is shoe is bananas. What do you think about these? The Royal, hold on, let me put all the paper away. Man, they did a great job on their shoes. The colorway is like bananas. You throw some white shoestrings in here and it's on point. Like The I, white shoestrings, I seen people doing that and it looks good. I would do the white shoestrings in here and it just look clean. I just, I wasn't a fan of the shape. It's just because of the material and how it collapses and like gets all wonky. Mm -hmm. Like 
that was the thing for me that part but i like the shoe but i like the shape because right here like yeah. oh, i just did it like even right here it don't look bulky like right here right the toe looks good you know it stays like clean like that yeah and I yeah. like what they did with the uh, Wings logo too on the side, like similar yeah. how they brought it up like that yeah. and added that texture to it. Yeah. A lot of good details on this sneaker. So uh, overall, solid shoe. Did it land on the top 10? For me, no. The only thing different, yes. it was up there, but the only thing different I would've did was white right here. Nah, you gotta keep it OG. I know it. <laughs> but I'm just saying with the white laces and that right there, but that's clean. You this is a great looking OG. shoe, man. Okay. They done a good job on this shoe. I ain't gonna tell you what I would rate this shoe right Don't now. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. Because this one might be real high. I don't know. I won't tell you. I won't right. tell you. So, last but not least, this shoe is coming out in a couple weeks. That shoe is clean, though. <laughs> you already saw them. No, not this one. The other the last one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you've seen these two. So, they flipped the box. Normally, it's the gray on the bottom, the black on the top. They flipped that, reimagine, mm -hmm. switching things up. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Flipping right. inside out type thing. I this is a detail. Again, sneaker head, sneaker wizard, right? This is a detail. They have the Nike Air on the top of the lid right here. Mm -hmm. On the previous retros, it's always Jumpman. It says it's a Jumpman with the Air. Right? Oh, okay, okay. So like this, kind of like that right, on the bottom right. right here. Yeah. But like you would see that here. So if it's a Nike Air shoe, like on the Jordan Four, they did Jumpman on it. And I'm like, bro, the 2019 retro. Mm -hmm. I'm like, bro, put the Nike on there. Like, is it got the Nike on the right, shoe? Right, right. So. I like how they added that. Good detail. Air Jordan 4, Black Fire Red, Cement Gray, size 13, just for me. I think retail is like 215 or something like that. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Uh, okay. Again, no retro card. I wish we had a retro card. And then we got the shoe. Oh, we got the shoe. <laughs> All right. Jesus, please. Oh. And I like these hang tags. The other one was orange on the other one. That's how I like I, the OG style. That's what I'm saying. I still like them. I like that they put that on there. You know. So, you ready for the context? Mm hmm All right. Mm -hmm. OG, 1989. Durabuck. That's the year I graduated. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> OG, 1989. Durabuck on the upper. Kind of like a, it's like a thin suede nubuck. Like, mm -hmm. And then they switched to like a synthetic nubuck later on the retros, different stuff. We've never seen a, uh, um, what's it called? A black cement four with a leather upper. They've done golf bottoms. They've done yeah. different retros. We saw 1999, we saw 2008, we saw 2012, we saw 2019 with the 2021 golf pair. The baseball spike was similar, but not the same. Like we saw all these different variations, Right. but we've never seen it with the leather like this. this is First nice. time they flipped it, they switched it up on us. Even a tongue is nice. Mind you, the, the Bread Force, also we call them the Bread Force, but the OGs, you know, they all call them Black Cement Force. Right. But uh, the Black Cement Force from 89, that was the first shoe that introduced a shoe uh, like with that material. Because you had all the ones were leather, all the twos were leather, all the threes were leather, right. and then the four original colorways, Fire Red, White Cement, and uh, Military Blue, those were all leather. Mm -hmm. So when it came to this one, it was the first one with the new material switch up on the upper. Yeah. So like, remember how like we saw patent leather for the first time on the 11s right, and stuff? Right. Like this was a big thing yeah. and then it became like a hit. So that's some context for you. Yeah. What do you think? Man, I think they outdone themselves with the shoes. It's going to be a great shoe for everybody that need two pair. They just feel good in hand too. <sighs> They're so like, nice. The cut, it's, everything is cool. Top three, sneaker of the year. I'm calling it now. Yeah. I'm calling it now. Okay, so Man. you got a rating I in can't, your head? I can't tell you my rating yet. You got a rating in your head? I got a rating in my head. All right, so let's pull out one shoe from each. What shoe? Mm. We gonna put that the one? Right we'll here. Right shoe. Left foot? Right here. Right Please. here is a table full of heat. <laughs> That's what this is, a table full of heat. These are the five Ooh. reimagined shoes that have come out so far. It's crazy. They're actually doing like a suede 11 in a bread colorway, but it's like a women's drop. And I don't know technically if that's a reimagined or not, but that's supposed to come out later this year. Either way, reimagine. This is what we got so far. What's the last place on the list? Let's just go ahead and get to the uh, ranking. Okay. I have to go with this to be the last. Last? Episode. This has to be my last on my list. Okay. <laughs> this is last on my list. Oh, come on. 
<laughs> Did we go through this before? No, no, this one, yeah. I think the, the Royal Suede is last on my list. Oh my God, no! Okay, okay, okay. So if that's last on the list, we gotta pick. How do we pick from these? <laughs> Wait, so you do you agree with this one? For it to be last? Or this one? This gotta be last. All right, we could do it. We could both put these at last because the reason why I say that is, I'm will. I like these more than the Chicago's. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I like these. I like the. I. This is a tough one, but I'm still rocking with these over the. Wow. So, we're gonna put the the best ones is over here, right? So we'll, we'll put the last on this side. So the last will be over here. So okay. which ones is last? You want to rock paper scissors? You want to flip a coin? How you want to go about this? Hey, come on, over these. You like? Those? Okay, 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 okay. Last video. Uh, and let's go. I got no, it right. I won. I won. I won last know, time. I know. Best out of three. Here. Best out of three. All right, come on. That's one. <laughs> All right, all right, I lost, I lost. That's right, that's right. Put that over. Yeah. <laughs> okay, oh. top three. How do we rank it? I haven't had to spend much time. I haven't had much quality time with these yet. You know what I'm saying? They're new, they're fresh. Oh my God, but. These go crazy. Those go crazy. But I can't let, I can't let it cloud my vision because it's a new, hot, shiny but, thing. But, you know what I'm saying? But. You know what I'm saying though? It's that new, shiny thing. You can't, is. you can't let it just cloud the vision. That's all I'm saying. This shoe is gonna be like indestructible. You can wear it just constantly. Okay, let's agree. Let's agree that this is number three. What? No! <laughs> <laughs> Put this at number three. The white cement. Fuck. That's crazy. Let's put that at three. What would y'all think? What would y'all think? That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> okay. It's tough. It's tough. It's a tough decision. All right, which shoe is better? The white cement three or the black cement four? I got, it, it's hard choice though. The but reason I why I get these four. is because they have, I've been wearing them. You see my pair, I got one pair over there. I got some oh, other yeah. ones in the other room. Them is worn, I'll be wearing these things. This is another new pair right here too. Uh, But. He's got shoe trees in them. I'll be rocking them. <laughs> I'll be rocking them. Look, real dirty. Uh. That's the thing. This shoe looks dope dirty. This shoe looks dope vintage. Oh yeah, see we're rocking those too. I got some more pairs back there. Some more anyway, stuff. anyway, y'all see it on the table. Okay, all I'm saying is, this is a good shoe, but this had to wear on me. For the masses? This will not have to wear on me. Immediately, you're like, I like Immediately. it. Immediately. For the I masses? Had to wait on this but one, that's what I'm saying. The materials, the cuts, the shapes, what they did with these two, is really really good like you cannot go it's, wrong yeah it's hard to pick honestly so but i think like i said all terrain materials leather yeah. environments yeah. all the different factors if i bought yeah. these for my always my bet, bet on you black know what I'm <laughs> bet on black <laughs> i'm going to bet on black so all right i get that i'll put the threes at third now we gotta go between these two you know what's crazy? You know what's actually crazy? Oh, what? So many people hate this shoe. Really? I don't get it. <laughs> but then people are gonna be like, oh, you rock these, but you don't rock these as often. I'm like, I get that, yes. It's a little bit harder to wear, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I can't just like wear this with everything. Like this right. one, it's a little more subtle. It's like, more dressy. Yeah. Like You gotta be going to do something. That don't mean I don't love the shoe still. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. So I get that. So now we're going between these one and two. Honestly, like I said, I'm giving you this one. I really rather prefer some rock, paper, scissors because I will put this at third. What? All right, rock, paper, scissors for the third. No, because then that, then this would be an automatic one. This is number one? <laughs> Here. That's crazy. These there. just came out. Just like this. Nah, nah. That's it right there. That's it right there. All right. Come on, that's that's a good selection right there. Like nobody can go wrong right here. Uh, uh, if you have an opportunity to get all these shoes right here, go get them. This, and if you have an opportunity to get two pair, get I'm, them. I'm still right here. I'm flipping these two. Because all these you're gonna wear. Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna wear it. You know I'm gonna rock these. Everybody knows this that. This one and this one is the hardest two to wear out of the bunch. Yes. Okay. Yes, because you can wear those with everything. Right. So these three, you can wear with everything. So I think depending on 
you know, how are we ranking this, right? Because there's so many different right. ways you could rank it, right? right? But this is kind of what we came with. But if you went with wearing, number one wearing. Yeah, number, number one. Number two wearing. Number yeah. three wearing. You'd be like this. Wearability. This is the order. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That would be the order. Initial thoughts and impressions, and how we felt about them. This is That's the, order. the order. Okay. And what you don't like is this shoe. <laughs> Hey, I got lucky with this shoe because I really like this shoe. I got those too. I, that's what I'm saying. I got them. You see that right here. I got yeah. two pairs. Yeah. But again, it's not my favorite. Right. I don't right. dislike it. I just, it's not my favorite. I think this is a, it's a great lineup. I feel like it's kind of like weird to put this at number one. Why? Because it's just like the new shiny thing. No, it's like not. Like you're just going to come in no, and just not. wreak havoc and that's beat everybody. That's Debo. Sometimes Debo got to come in here. Just pull all up. black everything. All black everything. Hey, if he came in the building, everybody's just gonna get out the way. Just like, ah. Let <laughs> me put up on the bike. <laughs> That's it right there. Okay, this is it. This is our ranking. Let us know what you guys think down below in the comment section. I cannot wait to see. And oh, please, all the people that are, That's a terrible rating. How about give us some context? And give us some why reasons why, and say what you think down Don't below in the comments. Like, oh, that's trash. Oh, what a great comment. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, you who, what? That makes no sense. No like, meaning. It didn't like, mean nothing. Talk to somebody. Give us a like. Right. I love when people say like, oh, this. That, I wouldn't have did that. Well, what would you have done then? Right. Like, oh, tell me something. something. Like, give me Make something. Make sense out of it. Because if you just say that's stupid, that's trash. That means you're just a hater. You're not giving me, yeah, like, I want to see what you think. You're hating when you just bust on some, I don't like that. You gotta, you gotta say pause after that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we gotta go, we gotta go. Right. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> I would never let you down. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. Listen, my DNA, hey, the hey, only choice I like to make what I'm aware of. I would never let you down, it's in my DNA The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made for it, it's in